And I'm kind of taking a risk here because I have uh, not made a video like this before. Uh, I'm, I've always held a belief that um, I want people that are far from God to always feel like they can be close to God. And I, I'm very much a believer that the Holy Spirit does work in people's lives. I'm not the Holy Spirit. I can present truth. I can present scripture. And I really rely on the Holy Spirit to guide discussion, help form people. I also am a big believer that people need soft hearts to truth. And if people have hard hearts for truth, um, usually what truth does is it drives people further away. And so I want to make sure that I'm keeping doors open for relationship because I just see that relationship is where discipleship happens. So um, uh, for those of you who are interested in what I think, which might be a few people, might be a lot of people, but I cannot, I, last night, I watched the first five minutes-ish of the third episode of Acolyte, which is a Star Wars series of shows, and I shut it off. And I will not watch another moment of Acolyte. I just think as a child who was into Star Wars and appreciated just the innocent fun that much and most of Star Wars was growing up, um, in the third episode, there are um, two women who are raising two children to be witches. And I, I just got to this point where the Holy Spirit spoke to me and the Holy Spirit just was very simple. Dave, you're done. And I said, you know what, Lord, I'm totally done. And then my kids, they already think the concept of Star Wars is cool. So they were like, what's going on with Star Wars, Dad? I said, you know what, Jay Harper Jones, we're done. And they're like, why? And I said, well, because the kids in the show had two moms and they were training their kids to be witches. And I was like, that is so against everything we believe. Now, we love everybody. We serve everybody. There are things, though, that are um, anti-scripture and they're always going to be around us, but we have to rely on the Holy Spirit of what to allow ourselves to be entertained by. And I refuse to be entertained by anything that celebrates homosexuality and, and witchcraft. And so um, I don't apologize for that. Uh, that being said, if the people who wrote the show, act in the show, um, watch the show, support the show, came to church, I'm going to be the first person to have a relationship with them, pray with them, minister to them, teach them the Bible, anything I can do. It's just, there's a line that I draw about what I'm willing to be entertained by. And I think that's the message. So we love every person. We don't support every lifestyle. We use the word of God and we draw lines in the sand. And so I, I won't allow myself to be entertained by that anymore. Maybe some of us watching, you've already drawn the line in the sand, a lot of Star Wars content before. I just thought it hit a new level and super disappointed that Disney and whoever else is um, involved in that show would, would push away high morality believers in Christ um, over a storyline like that. Anyway, uh, uh, maybe you have thoughts or comments. Um, feel free to shoot them to me, but that's where I'm at.